Lotus Electra versus Fisker Ocean. Which one you should buy? Price. The latest Lotus Electra all electric crossover has at least 592 bhp, a distance of up to 373 miles, and a base price of roughly $120,000. The revolutionary SUV will be manufactured at a new cutting-edge factory in Wuhan, China. Prices for the improved Elettra are yet to be announced. The Lotus Elettra is currently available in worldwide countries, with initial consumer shipments beginning in 2023 in the United Kingdom. The single-motor front-wheel drive sport version of the 2022 Fisker Ocean begins at $37,499 US dollars. The mid-level Ultra begins at $49,999 and has a dual-motor all-wheel drive drivetrain. The top-of-the-line Extreme, which has two engines and AWD, begins at $68,999. The Ocean will be qualified for the entire $7,500 federal EV tax benefit in the United States, bringing its initial cost down to $29,999. Nevertheless, most individuals are unable to take benefit of the credit owing to their unique tax status, so consult with a tax specialist for more information. Design and Quality The Electra has roguish, coupe-like roofline and a strong forward-leaning snout. Lotus architects are definitely drawing on their previous expertise creating elegant sports vehicles. The dimensions, on the other hand, are definitely SUV-like. The hefty carving of the front door to enable air to circulate through the outlet on the trailing edge of the front bumper, as well as a noticeable haunch over the back tire that lifts to reach a roof line that smoothly glides away from the sharply slanted A-pillars dominating the side profile. The Elettra will be constructed on Lotus's revolutionary electric luxury infrastructure, which is a low-to-the-ground skateboard design that can support a variety of battery capacities, engines, constituent configurations, and smart operating systems. The appearance of the ocean is rather clean for a crossover, and the style is contemporary and well-adapted to an electric vehicle. It's a massive automobile, and the large 22-inch wheels provide it show car dimensions. The bend in the back doorway and the extra LED lighting in the D supports are also appealing. The Ocean may also have a black top with solar panels. The EV's California option, which enables you to drop eight glass screens with the press of a solitary switch, can be activated with the press of a button. It doesn't transform the Ocean into a convertible, but it gets close. In terms of the power glass top, the Extreme One trims have solar screens, which are estimated to give 1,500 to 2,000 miles or 2,400 to 3,200 kilometers of extra mobility per year, dependent on conditions. The ocean is as clean and sophisticated on the interior as it is on the exterior, and Fisker employs substantial use of recyclable resources like recycled plastic containers. The ocean features a simplistic design that is balanced by certain simple settings, and it is covered with reused elements that support environmentalism. Its cockpit features a thin digital gauge panel and beautiful elements that run across it, in addition to a huge touchpad that turns on all except the basic variant. Performance Lotus is highlighting the driving characteristics of its upcoming electric SUV, as befits its racing car heritage. The modern Elettra boasts four-wheel propulsion, a battery storage of about 100 kilowatts, and a maximum power of 441 kilowatts, or 592 bhp. A 350 kilowatt charger, according to Lotus, can provide 248 miles of mileage within only 20 minutes. It also has the capacity to take 22 kilowatts AC charging as default, which, if accessible, decreases the duration connected in S the optimum WLTP operating range of the automobile is 600 kilometers or 373 miles. The Elettra has been designed to give everything you'd anticipate from a Lotus in terms of performance and agility, as well as extremely intuitive navigation and superb driver involvement. From a technical standpoint, we know the entire globe is watching, so we've been obsessed with having it all just perfect. The Sport version is the main gateway into the 2023 Ocean portfolio, with a solitary electric engine controlling the front wheels. With 275 horsepower on board, it should go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6.9 seconds. 
the Ultra as well as Extreme, as well as the limited edition one, use an independent engine on each wheel, resulting in all-wheel drive. The fastest variant, with a full unit power of up to 550 horsepower, is expected to sprint from a standstill to 60 miles per hour in 3.6 seconds. Seats and Space However, simply though the Electra can rip it up on the road doesn't imply it's not designed like SUVs. The five-door vehicle will be pretty tiny with all-wheel driving, however, it will nevertheless carry a great deal of energy, along with a battery size of more than 100 kilowatts and 600 horsepower. The Electra is capable of five-seat or four-seat arrangements, with quality, very resilient, man-made microfibers on the key interfaces and an innovative wool blend material on the armrests. The solid edges are carbon fiber, with the fibers clipped from the border of weaved carbon fiber sheets employed everywhere by Lotus. Fisker claims the ocean will sit five people comfortably in two rows. It is still constantly looking at the potential of a vacant third row of seats. Because the ocean will be constructed on a movable foundation, a third row is feasible. However, given the size of the crossing, it may only be suited for toddlers. However, Fisker has yet to decide the three-row option. On their homepage, Fisker does not indicate the cargo capacity of the ocean. Nevertheless, the business has previously said that it had a potential load storage of 25 cubic feet behind the second row seating. The back hatch glass opens to allow longer goods like a paddleboard or a Great Dane. Technology Lotus has relied on its ties with parental firm Geely for the technology, and while it must be trustworthy, the visuals seem sharp and clear from our first impressions of this vehicle. While voice management is available, critical operations for the temperature and other primary equipment have been replicated with physical buttons to avoid the difficulties that typically accompany touchscreen-only buttons. Lotus promises that it will still be a simple interface to operate, with 95% of the car's capabilities accessible with only three taps from the primary display. Over-the-air software upgrades are feasible with 5G capabilities, which the company says will let consumers to acquire additional technologies to be unlocked by software as they become accessible. The Ocean will have a 17-inch touchscreen set lengthwise in the center of the cockpit. Because there are no evident switches or knobs, the display, like Tesla's automobiles, will operate practically everything in the SUV. When the Ocean is parked, the touch display may be flipped to a rectangular orientation for enjoying films, which Fisker refers to as Hollywood style. The Ocean will offer mobile application connection with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The Ocean will also come with a mobile application that lets users connect with the car immediately. The application may be utilized as a key, and it will also serve as the major resource for arranging service sessions. According to Fisker, the Clever app provides a variety of beneficial capabilities, such as vehicle tracking, wireless temperature controls, and the capability to automatically locate the car. Pros of Lotus Elettra An all-wheel drive is an option. The vehicle's easy-to-drive character is complemented by an impressive selection of driver assistance features and predictions of favorable fuel efficiency. Cons of Lotus Elettra The steering has a lack of driving sense and can be slow to adjust, and interior design is uninspiring. Pros of the Fisker Ocean A relaxing ride, cabin amenities and decor have been improved, and there are several basic safety and technological features. And the cons of Fisker Ocean. Graphics on the infotainment system are average. Our verdict. As new versions enter the marketplace, the tide is changing for electric automobiles. Lotus, the British sports car maker, is taking a radical new electrical approach with the Electra the company's first SUV, as well as the first series manufacturing electric car. Fisker Automotive hopes to capitalize on this attitude with the Ocean SUV. The most affordable variant costs less than $40,000 and has a range of around 250 miles. Just time will tell whether the Ocean's range estimates, efficiency boasts, and parlor tricks can pique the interest of the Tesla-obsessed audience. Ocean is better option than Lotus. That's all, folks. We hope you enjoyed this video, so please give it a big thumbs up. 
Tell us about your suggestions in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more reviews. Catch up with us in our next video. Stay tuned and connected.